Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at turning your iPad into your main machine. In this episode, we're going to talk about bolstering the abilities of your iPad using things like external keyboards and card readers. Now, the biggest problem you're probably going to have with the iPad is that it doesn't have a physical keyboard on it. Sure, it has an on-screen keyboard, and it's nice and big, but it's not great for extended typing. For one thing, it's not 100% precise, and it doesn't have tactile feedback, which a lot of people rely on when they're typing for extended periods. Now you may find yourself much further ahead getting a dedicated keyboard for the iPad, especially if you're going to be using it a lot for writing or for doing email. Apple offers two accessories that are going to help you out here. The first of these is the iPad keyboard dock, which is available for $69. Now it's like the iPad charging stand, but it also includes a full keyboard attached to it. You can plug your USB sync cable into the back of the keyboard stand, and that'll allow you to power up the iPad and sync it to another computer. Now the keyboard dock also has iPad specific keys which allow you to interact directly with iPad specific features. Now the big downside of the keyboard dock is that the dock stand portion of it juts out a little bit so it's a little bit lumpy and not so easy to pack. You also can't use the dock stand with protective cases. The iPad goes right up against the dock stand and if you have a case in the way it doesn't actually fit. Because of that, if you're using a case, you'll have to take it on and off every time you want to use the keyboard stand. So for a lot of people, it may actually be more convenient to use the Apple Wireless Keyboard, which is also $69. The Apple Wireless Keyboard connects to your iPad using Bluetooth. It is more compact than the keyboard dock, but it does lose some of the iPad-specific keys because it is used for other items in the Apple family, like the iMac. The other thing you'll notice when using the wireless keyboard is that it doesn't provide a way to keep your iPad upright like the keyboard dock does. So if you go this route, you may also want to get another stand to keep your iPad upright when you're typing. There are a number of different stands out there, but we like the Griffin A-Frame. The A-Frame can be positioned upright at a number of different angles, or it can be laid flat against the tabletop for when you want to type directly on the iPad screen when you're not using an external keyboard. Now you can connect a number of other things to the iPad using Bluetooth. Unfortunately, that's not going to work for cameras for the most part. Now if you want to take a number of photographs on your camera and then import them directly onto the iPad, Apple's provided a way to do that with the iPad Camera Connection Kit. It comes with two dongles that connect directly to the universal port at the bottom of the iPad. The first of these is for secure digital cards. You can take the secure digital card directly out of your camera after shooting your images, plug it into the dongle at the bottom of the iPad, and then it'll start to import directly from the card. The camera connection kit also comes with a USB dongle. That way you can connect your camera to the iPad using a USB cable from the camera to the iPad. This also works with a lot of video cameras. As a nice bonus, the USB dongle also gives you the ability to connect other assorted USB devices including USB audio keyboards and things like microphones. At $29 it's a great investment and allows you to really increase the ability of your iPad. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series for more ways that you can use your iPad as your main machine. And you can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.